another video for you with some new stories firstly african union president and chairman of african union commission are due to arrive in russia in coming hours tomorrow on uh, friday african union president will hold a meeting with president russian president putin uh should african union intervene in ukraine russia conflict and will uh, african union president travel to ukraine as well second story is about a statement from ethiopian orthodox church holy synod general assembly of the church has been underway for some days a new Uh, officials have been elected and now a statement has been released by the church about uh, the ongoing conflict in Ethiopia the church is offering to mediate that it is uh, interested in playing a mediatory role uh, to uh, find out the root cause of the problem and to resolve the problem in Ethiopia will this offer be welcomed by parties to conflict especially tigray lastly viewers uh, what is happening on tigray eritrea border we know that uh, last week there were heavy clashes there tigray claimed that uh, 300 eritrean uh, soldiers were killed and wounded there uh near badme what's happening there now is there calm or are there uh, any ongoing clashes situation does not seem to be peaceful there we have uh, some updates for you firstly viewers uh, african union's president is due to arrive in russia in coming hours Macky Sall is uh, Senegal's president and he is African Union's president as well. And uh, Moussa Faki is African Union Commission's chairperson. Both are traveling to Russia and they'll hold a meeting with uh, Russian President Putin in Suchi city. The meeting will be held on Friday. The purpose of their visit is to play their role in resolving uh, Russia Ukraine conflict. I have just uh, three points which I want to make. Firstly, uh, yes, uh, Africa Russia ties uh, are friendly. Africa is uh, soft towards russia when it comes to uh, russia ukraine conflict we have seen condemnation mostly from european countries uh, calling uh, russian attack on ukraine an aggression but africa has been largely largely not completely largely silent and we have seen uh, in votings at the general assembly in human rights council sessions that african countries mostly backed russia so african union does have uh, a leverage that uh, it can use its friendly terms with russia to share its concerns with russian government uh, one of the main concerns is that uh, food uh, prices are uh, skyrocketing and africa is suffering already we know that uh, uh, population in several countries of africa is dependent on food aid from abroad so this war is having uh, a negative impact uh, on food security in africa so here uh, african union can share its concerns with uh, putin uh, but question is will macky sall just uh, travel to russia or will he travel to ukraine as well which he should because if uh, 
African Union wants to play a mediatory role of or if, if it was to show that it's uh, impartial and it wants an end to the conflict then it must pay visit to Ukraine as well. African Union should be neutral when it comes to national conflicts. It should be part of these conflicts. So I personally think that Maki Sal, Musa Fawaki, they should travel to Ukraine as well. And thirdly, African Union should focus more on Africa, I think. There is a lot to be taken care of in Africa. Uh, internal conflicts are rising, you know, and coups are on the rise. Terrorism is an issue. Democracy uh, is in danger in several countries of Africa. So, African Union should focus more on uh, African uh, conflicts, but playing a role if uh, a body has leverage, uh, it should happen. But if the body has a leverage, African Union does not have any considerable leverage to uh, uh, convince Russia or Ukraine that they should uh, end the war. Uh, but at least uh, concerns can be shared by this body with uh, Russian government. A second new story is about Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Uh, the church was holding a general assembly for some days. We have seen that Abune Abraham, Abune Patros have been appointed as new church officials. One has been appointed as the secretary of the Holy Synod. Uh, now the church Holy Synod has issued a statement about the ongoing conflict in Ethiopia. Obviously, uh, the statement is about Tigray conflict mainly, though there is conflict in Amhara as well these days in Romania too. What is the church saying? Firstly, church is calling for an end to war. Secondly, it says that it's ready to play its role, mediatory role, uh, to sort out the problem, to find the root cause of the problem. Now. Tigray conflict started in November 2020. Around 19 months ago, this conflict started. Tens of thousands, I would say perhaps millions, uh, not millions, but tens of thousands have died so far. Millions have been displaced, millions in need of food aid. So the church kept on waiting. The church split. Tigray announced its split. Tigray has established its own Orthodox divided church. And Tigray is on its way to complete split with uh, Orthodox Church of Ethiopia. The church kept on waiting. The church was blamed by Tigray that it was blessing the war in Tigray. But it did not offer to mediate. Now suddenly the church wants to mediate. Now the conflict is in Amhara region as well. We know that there uh, have been large scale arrests. Journalists, uh, community activists, politicians, they are being arrested in Oromia as well. And Tigray has been saying that this church is represented by Amhara uh, uh, people, Amhara elites and it is basically Amhara church. So now when conflict is spreading in different parts of Ethiopia, the church is ready to mediate. Why did not the church offer to mediate when war was just happening in Tigray? This offer of mediation should have come in November 2020, in December 2020, not after 19 months of this war. Tigray will never accept this mediation. Tigray church has split. Tigray openly says, Tigray banned Mahibre Karusan. Tigray banned use of Amharic uh, language in some Sunday services as well. Uh, so, I think it is a step which is very late, long overdue and late as well. Now the church, uh, its mediation perhaps will not be welcomed by Tigray. Let us see uh, 
if tigray welcomes this mediation effort will update you lastly viewers tigray at your border last week there were heavy clashes there and uh, tigray government said that uh, around 300 iratian soldiers were killed and wounded tigray showed some pws as well then there was controversy that uh, at least one of the pws was not a soldier controversy is still ongoing uh, what is the situation on the border now is it peaceful are there any clashes uh, what we have learned uh, through some sources is that situation is not peaceful though uh, we haven't seen any statement from terai or eratia but if you remember gaeta chose a statement about to fighting uh, near bad me came almost a week after the fighting the clashes were on the 24th or 25th of may and he spoke on the 29th or 30th of may i think so he spoke uh, almost 5 uh, to 6 days after the clashes now no statement from tigray or eratia but what we have learned is that uh, situation is far from being peaceful especially on badme front shiraro badme their uh, exchange of gunfire shelling is being reported and some activities happening on rama and zalam basa fronts not large scale fighting mainly shiraro badme front uh, there uh, today we confirm that there was some shelling and exchange of gunfire so it's not that there is complete peace uh, on these fronts the two sides uh, they are not stepping back i have been saying that it's all previous videos uh, that uh, preparations are there on both sides uh, there is engagement between tigray and ethiopian government Uh, this progress in talks as was said by uh olisog no wasanjo today but is there any progress in talks between tigray and eritrea are there any talks with tigray and eritrea no no talks no progress so that is why tensions are still there in border areas shelling and some exchange of gunfire also reported thank you for watching